there thanks for watching in this video i'm going to be doing a review and what fits in my fjall robin konkin number no. two 15 inch laptop backpack so if you're interested in watching more about that then just keep watching i bought this backpack in April of 2020. So I've had it for about two years now and used it continually. So I feel like I can speak on how well it's held up as well as kind of why I bought it and show you what fits in it. This is kind of becoming one of my favorite travel pieces and I will show you why. It does fit a 15 inch laptop as it says in the title and it has one of those zipper pockets on the back that allows you to put the laptop in separately which is great because when i'm packing and kind of getting all my stuff in the front it's nice to just be able to throw my laptop in the back and have quick access to it and the back section is padded so that keeps the laptop stable and protected which is nice so a little bit about the company it's interesting because fial robin they've been around for years and i know they kind of gained popularity around five, six years ago or so. And that's that's how I heard about it. So clearly seeing it everywhere was what influenced me. But the more I looked at it, the more I was actually interested in having this item in my travel arsenal because it really is useful. Again, despite not having what I thought would have been essential features to me. So just to go over the features and what it does have, this version with the laptop pocket does have padded straps, which is helpful. And I've never felt uncomfortable at all with them. It adjusts kind of at the bottom here. And you can see there's, I mean, I've never done this, but you can pull them all the way up and snap them right here at the top. So that's the back and it has this sort of cross grain stitching here that keeps the weight pretty evenly distributed. So again, I've never been uncomfortable while wearing this. What it doesn't have is a full size water bottle pocket on the side. So what you can't fit into the side pockets are any type of full size water bottle. I mean, by full size, I mean even like a full bottle of like 16 ounces or 12 ounces of water. I was able to cram this eight ounce bottle here into the side. That's about it. I've heard people say that they can use these side pockets for umbrellas and things like that, sure. I've used them for like pens and that's about it. So these side pockets for me and my life are pretty much useless, which was actually a huge deterrent. So that's on the cons list of the features, but I like the front pocket, that's very helpful. And I like, I actually love these straps at the top because I find myself just kind of quit grabbing it from the top. And that I just found that was really cute. And the strap thing here, the little button with the strap here was, I thought, a cute touch. So I do like to snap that up just so it looks neat and tidy. I also like that the logo is not that big white version. It's kind of, it blends in with the black, which is great. The material is waterproof. I I think it's a cord or it's some kind of canvas, which is very resilient. Another con though, is that it does tend to pick up dust and lint. And if you have a pet or any kind of animal that sheds, it will pick up that hair. So just a word to be mindful. Okay, so getting into what can fit inside this backpack. This is actually something else that I was not so keen on was that the zipper goes all the way down. That was something I didn't think I would want as I was kind of looking at a backpack because I remember from high school, I used to hate when I had a backpack that zippered all the way down because there was always that fear of like, if, if your backpack accidentally comes unzipped and you're walking along, then it, that it would like spill all your stuff out. So I have not had that happen with this backpack, but what it does mean that the zips go all the way down to the bottom here is that you can open it up. So when you're packing, getting ready to go somewhere, you can open it up and see everything you have at a glance, which is helpful. So I will show you what I have crammed in here. So you can see everything that I've fit in here and kind of get an idea of what does fit. So having this be able to open full lengthwise is helpful. 
So I have kind of a pouch that I use for essentials. I have some toiletry cosmetic cases is where I keep my cords normally. That, I have my favorite pack flat toiletries case in here. Because normally when I travel on an airplane, this will be my carry-on and it's just super discreet, compact, and I love it. Uh, Longchamp um, cosmetic case folders with papers and two, ooh, actually, another toiletries case, two giant binders. So that, and these just lay flat on the bottom. That gives you a kind of an idea of the capacity in here. And because it is so slender and the profile is very, very slim, I was concerned that I wouldn't be able to fit a lot in it. And I was even looking at other, uh, getting a different backpack. Um, Toomey had some really nice ones and that was kind of where I was leaning. Toomey actually doesn't have an external water bottle pocket either, which irritated me, but whatever. This actually seemed to fit more. I looked up the cubic dimensions and this fit more than the Toomey style that I was looking at with the back zipper laptop pocket as well. So all in, all considered, I can't recommend this highly enough despite not having all the features that I thought I would want. So that's everything that fits. Here is an overhead shot of everything that fits at a glance as well. You can see the two laptops, that toiletry case, and a whole host of other things fits easily. It's like playing Tetris, right? Because it is so rectangular and very rigid, structured. You really have to make sure that your items are wedged in there well, which is just how it is. Because it holds its shape so well, I find that it's um, it's much easier to pack because the shape, it holds its shape so well. So you really have to be organized when you pack, but it does fit, again, a surprising amount. So I'm gonna like re-zip this. I like the look of it when it's not crammed to the gills like I am doing right now, but I just wanted you to have an idea of exactly how much fits. Or I do like to snap the top just to be, make it look neat. Which, yeah, when you're traveling, it does take some time and it's a little irritating, but oh well. I put like my cables and stuff in here as well as pens for quick access. So if I wanna charge on the go, I can. And then this front pocket doesn't have vitamins. I have the most access. Again, I keep just random things like snacks and stuff in there. I also can fit my phone in the side pockets for easy access too, which is helpful when traveling. And again, I've been able to fit two laptops in this 15 inch compartment, which is also helpful when I'm traveling. I have my work laptop and then I can also throw in my personal laptop as well. I'll also insert some shots of what the backpack looks full length and when I'm wearing it. It's very slim, again, it has a very slim profile and I like that it's pretty sleek and minimal, which is the look that I'm going for. There's the bag on my back, what it actually looks like. I tend to wear both straps when I carry it just for an even distribution of weight, but obviously you can take it off and carry it with just one strap and it's super comfortable either way. So after two years, there's almost no signs of wear and tear and that's pretty amazing too. I mean, the leather here is softened, but the zippers still work great and everything with straps are impeccable. So I cannot say enough good things about this bag. So I hope that's been helpful. If you're considering this backpack, let me know if you have any questions. I'm happy to answer them because this is pretty much, I'm thinking gonna be a pretty solid permanent staple in my travel collection. So thanks for watching and I hope you keep watching. Bye.